You know, little Karabi, considering the fact that usually when I'm over here in the garden, I'm absolutely exhausted trying to keep up with whatever Big Potato is up to, I really appreciate that you're just such a laid back little pup. You're just wandering around in the greenery, having a great time, minding your own business, gathering up a shockingly full amount of amazing bacteria, and look at you! Look, look at how self-sufficient little Karabi is! Was a little hungry? Little Karabi goes ahead, fills up their stomach, doesn't even overeat. What a good puppers you are! Oh, I'm so proud of you! All right, we're gonna go ahead and praise them again, and then uh, carry on getting back to work with all of our wobble dogs. Like, where are Big Potato? Stay out of the giraffe den! How many times do I have to tell you? All right, we're yoinking Big Potato in there, so maybe he will hang out with Sprouts and they will have a good time just hanging out inside of the big garden room. But hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to Wobble Dogs, where constant chaos is going down in our laboratory and we are constantly trying to work on all sorts of different projects. And right now our current projects are trying to get some amazing long-legged giraffe dogs going so that hopefully, oh, oh my gosh, I just noticed how tiny Mioni's tail is. Mia, 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 your tail. Your tail is very small. <laughs> <laughs> but we are indeed working on trying to raise up some happy, healthy wobble dogs so that hopefully we'll be able to have some giraffe dogs. And what are the other ones I need to work on? We need to plant 20 seeds in order to get a brand new room that I will absolutely then immediately turn into yet another garden. Uh, we need to discover every one of the flora and we're actually missing a flora because we are missing one last unlock for a, um, a food, the celery sticks, ironically. And considering we have the celery align, that is very ironic. So I am going to put in a little bit of work to that so that we can complete these. We need to hatch a dog missing only its left front leg. We have two mystery achievements that we need to attend to. We need to hatch or mutate a dog with very long legs and hatch or mutate a dog with a very tall body for another room. So yeah, long legs and, and like gut expert and then mystery things are kind of our last things we're working on. <gasps> and Doggo laid an egg! Thank you, Doggo! I'm gonna give you the praise for that. Do you want to go ahead and eat that? That nutritional pellet is gonna give you long legs, so that would be very, very good for you to eat. Oh, Doggo, you look so much like Corn Dog that I think I keep thinking Doggo is Corn Dog, but Doggo is not Corn Dog, friends. Doggo is their own dog. And I'm working very hard at being a good puppers. Good, good, good corn dog. Or, oh no, good taco. Oh my word. All right, meanwhile, they need something to play with, I would think, but they seem to be doing okay. So our, our giraffe dogs are doing all right. Meanwhile, over here, <gasps> Witch, Al, and Alm are ready to pup, like puppet out of their little puppation cocoons. Okay, I probably need to take care of them. Milkshake, are you literally stuck in the corner? Milkshake. Milkshake. Oh, bless you, Milkshake. You're, 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 you're doing you, Milkshake. You're doing you. That's all I can ask for, you know? Uh, all right, and we do need to add in more food over here. We're trying to go with like really, really big tails and big noses, which is why we have so much garlic bread. Um, we're gonna definitely keep all of the, all of the vampires away over in this corner because we have so many, so many puppies eating garlic bread. I don't think we're gonna have any problems here. And then Milkshake, we'll go ahead and puppet you right now because why not? There we go. There we are. And actually, speaking of puppations, <gasps> Cerebus, you're ready to go ahead and puppy too. All right. Well, why don't we go ahead and try that out? Uh, Cerebus, let's have you eat a garlic bulb really quickly just to kind of go with like the, the smells of the puppy graveyard because why not? All right. We'll praise you for that. Is there any more garlic? I need to give you guys... Oh, <gasps> my puff mushroom is growing. Oh, that makes me so happy. All right. Let's actually add in... Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, I didn't want to move that. Didn't want to move that. There we go. Let's actually come on in and I want to add in uh, ooh, like a creepy book stack. Oh, we could make a little ritual zone. That would be really cool. Using some of these like new things we've been unlocking, we could make some sort of creepy little ritual spot. Uh, but for now, let me get in some of the food I want these guys to eat. Like garlic bread for, well, I don't want big nose. 
Hmm. Wine stance, short body, yellow coloration. I do like intense pattern. Thick legs, glossy sheen, and little. Narrow stance, intense pattern. Narrow stance, na metallic sheen. Hmm. Maybe a few candied apples would be okay. And then I think I was mostly gonna try to have these guys eat ectoplasm, but it's a little hard to get as much ectoplasm as I wanted. So Cerebus, do you have any ectoplasm in you? Cerebus actually has pretty good ectoplasm, so we'll go ahead and try pup baiting for now. All right, let's go ahead and give you all the pets. There you go. And then let's go ahead and start pup baiting all these pups. And where am I gonna send? Can I somehow? All right, all right. Give me just a second. We're gonna we're gonna play with this. We're gonna move that there. Can I somehow manage to send the pupa into here? Maybe. Okay, can't connect that one. Let's try here to here? No, okay. So I need to move these around a little bit more. Okay, this is a very delicate setup, friends. Very delicate indeed. <laughs> All right, maybe if I move these guys way down here and move this way down here, and then this over here, and then no, this over here. What if I move this over? Ah! <laughs> okay, gotta move carefully. Okay, what if I scoot this house here? This one, can I put them all the way on the edge? Oh, but that gets rid of our link. Okay. Well, I don't want that. I, I can't even imagine what's going through the Wobble Dog's heads right now. They're probably a little bit concerned about this chaos. Can I put this one over here? Ah, so close and yet so far away. Curses. How am I going to get all those cocoons? All right. What if I, okay, temporarily move that there. This one here. And then we're gonna just like yeet all of these cocoons real fast. All right, it's a cocoon cleanup time, friends. So let's go ahead and yeet the cocoons that are already here. As cool as multiple legs would be, I'm really saving these so we can try to like intentionally pup bait some of the other pups later. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and hatch Milkshake. Hey, Milkshake, did you go ahead? Milkshake went ahead and attached their cocoon to Aladon. Cocoon, cocoon. Oh my gosh. All right. I do need Espeon in here. Just constantly making us a whole bunch of ectoplasm. Because that was a big goal. So I need to make sure we're constantly doing that. So while Espeon's making ectoplasm, which if you would like to come out. Oh, which you look so much like your parent Annie. Oh, the body color actually apparently mutated a little bit. I can't really tell, but I'm going to trust the screen that that happened. Body size went up, nose size increased a little bit, front leg girth increased quite significantly actually. But otherwise, we have an excellent clone of Annie, which is exactly what I was going for. All right, we'll clean up that spot. Let's get Milkshake out of here before they yank down Alan Alm. Milkshake looking good, looking good. So Milkshake is now a teen, body length has actually gone down, no size has gone up, which I have no problem with, that's adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh, Milkshake, you, I might continue feeding a ton of garlic bread too. All right, Espeon, you good? Yeah, Espeon's still working on that. Let's hatch Alan Alm. There we are. Oh, they're so cute! They're so cute! Al, um, I don't think a lot changed for you. Dang it, tail size went down. That's not what I want. I want tail size to go way, way up. Head size increased significantly too. Snout rotation went down unexpectedly. Uh, no size went up and glossiness went down. Uh, or up. Okay. Okay, I feel like we need to do a little bit of work with Al Om, but we'll, we'll get there in time. Espeon's still making us that ectoplasm. Excellent, excellent. Ex, 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 like, uh, ectoplasmant? Is, is that maybe something I could say? All right, and meanwhile, let's connect these two rooms back up. So that, well, that's not gonna help us. Uh, I need to connect it over here so that the puppers can get back and forth from their little dig site because that's just so fun. Oh, Big Potato, are you doing okay? There you go, Big Potato. Did you just need a little bit of time? A little bit of a little bit of attention. 
Don't worry, we'll come back into the garden probably next time. Right now I am, oh, somebody dug me up. <gasps> Golden lupine flowers. I am so proud of whichever puppers did that. I swear I am going to make you some sort of glorious, fantastic, fun, little, little, little hideaway. All right, let me get all these teeth out of here. Oh my gosh, there's so many teeth to collect. Here, I gotta clear this out of the way. I want to save those golden lupine flowers. Those are new. Oh my gosh, there's so many teeth. No wonder Big Potato keeps getting sick. There's just way too much for them to be able to eat to their heart's content. And they are indeed a gluttonous little pup. Oh my gosh, there's so much to clean up. All right, Big Potato, are, do you have... Okay, you have a few things that you're ready to puppate with. I might let you... Oops, okay, drop that right on your head. Here, do you want to eat this? Why not? Here you go. No, you don't want to eat that? Do you want to eat this gourd? Yeah, you want to eat that gourd instead. Okay. And now let's go ahead and have you puppate before he eats any more and gets sick. Phew, there we go. Uh, and Sprouts. Oh no, Sprouts, you're really not doing well. Hey, sorry to wake you up from snoozing, but you're sad. You need some good pets. There you go. You need some good food. There. Oh, do you want the little nose rubs? Oh, there you go, Sprouts. All right, there's no food in here, so really, you should you should go ahead and like yoink. Oh, I'm sorry, little Karabi, I didn't see you in there. <laughs> oh my gosh, little Karabi is definitely ready to puppy because they've just been like eating whatever the heck they wanted for so long. So we'll go ahead and get them ready. Heck and heck, and little Sprouts. Here, do you want to eat a deviled egg because you're you you've got the or you're not little, but you know. All right, you're also apparently still very hungry. Uh, here, let's try, try candied apple. What do you think? Wow. Okay, Little Sprouts is very hungry. Do I have anything else I could feed you? How about an onion ring? You want to try an onion ring? All right, there we go. And we've got like little sprouts puppeting too. Jeez, everybody is just really like moving and grooving today. And Cerebus, let's go ahead and hatch you, my friend. And there's a lot of dog for to- Oh! <gasps> Cerebus! What? We lost that dark gothic coloring. How? Which one of the, the like genes did that? And who is shrinking? Oh, that's it. Is the garlic bread shrinking my tail size? Because that is not acceptable. That is absolutely not acceptable. Oh, Cerebus. Well, okay. You can go ahead and eat that. But which one of the genes just messed up my like carefully, the, the neutral gene? The neutral gene just messed up my careful collection of goth dogs? Oh, we are going to need to go ahead and feed Cerebus lots and lots of the ectoplasm to get that black body coloring back. All right, so I need the ghost on this. That's definitely a goal, is to get our ghost, like, oh, here, we'll go ahead, oh, let's memorialize. It's Pastelish! Pastelish, come forth, I need your help. I hope that, I don't remember if you're a big eater, Pastelish, but I'm gonna need some help on the whole ectoplasm thing, because that is going to be what we're gonna try to feed Cerebus for sure. All right, meanwhile, Alan on, you're having a good time playing in the flowers over here. I approve. Here, I'm going to clear this out of the way so the flowers can grow. Oh my goodness. I love this. There's just so much chaos currently going on. Good. And we do have some ectoplasm over here. Cerebus, that is totally going to be for you to eat. All right. And meanwhile, Sprouts is ready to go. Big Potato is ready to go. Karabi is ready to go. But we'll wait to hatch those in a little bit. Doggo! How did you escape? Back into the giraffe pen! Oh my word. We're definitely being kept very busy by our puppers this time around, guys. Also, good job. Good digging. Very good job digging. Mia, I'm so proud of you. Okay, I think you're you're probably good to puppate as well. Heck, we're going to be having so many babies soon, guys. With all of these puppations, you know it's only a matter of time before we're going to be having puppies. Puppies everywhere. Oh dear. And let me fix the house back so that the puppies can come into their playroom if they want. There we go. And I guess I can go ahead and even connect to this spot. Like, who knows when I'm gonna be able to collect all of those cocoons, but at least we have the caterpillar room really moving and grooving. Oh, look! And Pastelish is having a great time playing <laughs> with Cerebus. Oh, that is so perfect. Good job, Pastelish. I'm very proud of you. Cerebus is just like living it up right now, spinning around in a little circle. All right, let's go ahead. Sorry, Cerebus. And let's make sure that Cerebus eats some of this ectoplasm. 
so that hopefully we can carry on with our goth dog lineage. I'm really like living for this because I think it's amazing. There you go, Cerebus. Oh, you lost a tooth? What the heck? Pastelish! Stop! Oh no, you can play about, you can play about, I'm sorry! All right, here. It's really hard sometimes when you would like scold the puppies for doing something that you did, like other than what you were trying to get them to do. All right, anyway, there we go. Whew. And Alan, oh, Alan, oh, you need the pets. And I need to figure out what the heck is shrinking our tails because the goal with these guys was also to have big fluffy tails because I love it. No, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me on today's adventures as we try to sort out the graveyard, collect up all of these cocoons. I dare say that we have um, a lot of them. A lot of them. And we might start thinking about hatching up our death moth and hatching up our caterpillars pretty soon. But for now, uh, we still have plenty to keep us busy. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for all of our puppers. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.